Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the series Mad About Python and this is the 15th video in this series and this video will be a small video and in this video I'll be showing how you can open a file directory using tkinter and python. So you can open all sorts of files like png, jpg files, text files, doc files and uh, all files like basically your windows operating system supports. So we will make a small pop-up box which will open your file directory. Now to open a file directory, I'll just go ahead and uh, name this file browser. And uh, icon will remain same. And for opening file, you have to import another library. So you go from tkinter import file dialog. Now file dialog in tkinter will allow you to browse through your files and uh, in case you want to use image files I'll be making another video to explain this better. Now to access image files there is a, a library in tkinter known as pillow or now the latest library is known as pill. So you can go ahead and import from pill import image and image tk with the capital T. Now this will allow you to access all kinds of image files, PNG, JPG, GIF, everything. Now in case this program doesn't work for you, you can install the pill from the command using pip install. I'll be making another video and explaining this better, how to use images in tkinter. But as of now, we'll just continue with this video. So. We'll just create a button and when you click that button it will open a file dialog so we'll go button so i go b1 it's my button and then i want this inside root and this will show a text file open and i need a command also here because i'm using button so command i want to give the command as uh, files you can give anything so b1 dot pack and uh, okay this will be really small I'll just go ahead and give the root widget geometry so geometry will be 500 into 500 so you have given your command as files so we'll go ahead and define this here so we go def files and inside files now your program starts you have used the library file dialog so in tkinter you have to use root dot file name and your basically the file name will allow you to access the file dialog so you want it inside root so you go root dot file name you can give any name here and then you go file dialog dot ask open file the first function right here ask open file name so with that you have to give something as your initial dir so initial directory or initial dir now in tkinter you have options to paste the directory directly here so inside quotes i have a directory as uh, my pictures so in windows i have this directory and you can go and click this and you will get your directory right here it's in e drive with the folder name one plus seventy and some photos right here all in jpg format so i'll just go ahead and copy this Control c and then paste this path here now what will happen is my program will directly open this directory it will understand i have to open the file and my initial directory is this so once you have done that we have to give some name to this and uh, for that you use the attribute known as title so you give title as select file better you can give anything here i'm giving select file and then you have to choose the file types now the folder i showed you here this only contains images 
so i have decided my file type and it will be jpeg or jpg so in file types you have to use the word file and you have to give types so file types and then you open and close this once inside that you have to give the jpeg format first because i want it to be arranged in jpeg format first so jpeg files i'll just name it and uh, guys be careful with the brackets right here you have to open it once more to pack it here we'll close this later and here you can see the first will be jpeg files i'm naming this and as you know jpeg files have a extension so for that extension i want all my files and you have seen the star operator here which means all so i'll use the same thing here because i want to access everything not specified files so all dot jpg now this will allow the program to show all the jpeg files available in this directory my e drive and uh, to do that i'll just go from here create one more pack using the round brackets i know this is a long statement uh, i have to give all files such that i can view my files so all files and then a comma after that i want everything so i give star dot star because i want all the files from jpeg with the extension jpg and i just want everything and for that i have given all files and star dot star will give me all the files so now you have to close this now this is closed take care and this is closed and we are left with the final thing which is not closed so we'll close the final bracket here now your statement you can just go through this once your title your file types and your initial directory now all are closed so once you have done that let's go ahead and make a label such that it will show once your directory is open just to show a message like the program is running successfully so we'll just create a label right here go my label my label and give a label inside my root and text will put as all done and uh, just pack this my label dot pack okay and then you close this program by giving root dot main loop so you have done that your file name by giving file name and then you have don't forget to import this library guys otherwise the program won't run so you give file dialog ask ask open file name yeah that is correct initial dir you can uh, give your dir which you want to access title is select files and i want all files okay here there is some problem i think it is star dot star star and then a dot star yeah so it will give all kinds of files and i want specifically the file type to be jpeg because all are images and properly closing the bracket okay so that is it let's go ahead and run this program real quick and uh, let's see okay so it's showing all done that means the program is running successfully when i click file open boom now i'm getting this select file option here and you can see the icon the apple icon select file because i have given the title as select file and i can choose the files and here you can see the jpeg image because i have given the option jpeg files 
okay so you can choose all your images and it will show all files or you can choose jpeg files like that that means your program is running you can go ahead and click this one more time yeah jpeg files by default or you can choose all files and it is working so that was your file browser in tkinter and uh, i'll see you in the next one